Darius says he knows everything, bringing you that heat and that fire. We keeping the foot on the wood. Uh, Yeeks. We keeping the foot on the wood. Uh, Yeeks. Let's talk about it, man. You see, I just got up, man. And it was very interesting to see Deontay Wilder was very disturbed when he watched the fight. See, this is a boxer. Forget what I have to say. Forget what any Rudy Poo and Plum Plum Brain has to say. Forget what any classic dude and troglo that got to say. Forget what any ultra fan girl and ultra fan boy and ultra fan girl and ultra fan boy rhetorics have to say. Forget their nonsense. Deontay Wilder, who was also part of a trilogy affair, the last of the Mohicans of success in boxing, he said, Earl the Chief Smith's love weight dream. Earl the Chief Smith was not the same. Earl the Chief Smith wasn't even himself. You would think a boxer would know. See, if your spirit is telling you something wasn't right with the fight, listen to your spirit. See, one thing about the human connection, one thing about humanity, as a human, the spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Let me say it again. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Listen to your spirit, y'all. If your spirit is telling you that this fight was off, then the fight was off. Everyone knows it. And it's interesting that Deontay Wilder, a boxer, is telling you this. He's basically letting you know EJ wasn't himself. That's what he said. He said EJ wasn't himself. EJ was weight drain. And Terrence Crawford took advantage. Does that sound like a guy that really won a fight? When you hear somebody takes advantage of someone else, that's like a bully taking advantage of someone because the bully knows that they can take advantage. Do you really want to win something when you know you can take advantage of it? Or do you want to win something when it's competitive? A mama's boy would win something when he knows he can take advantage of it. Beta males and beta male congregation will accept any bullshit and fuck shit win that's presented in front of them. But a true alpha extraordinaire governed by true alpha economics, an alpha male at the highest level would not accept this. You know why they wouldn't accept this? Because they don't accept the fact that they won because someone took advantage of them. Because they can take advantage of a situation. They would want to win fair and square. They would want to win at the highest levels of competition. They would want to win knowing that they beat this person at their best. So when Deontay Wilder tells you EJ looked weight drain, EJ didn't look himself translation. They did the same shit to me. They had to draw out a trilogy. Whoosh. What I said was so deep and profound. No, no, no. What Deontay Wilder said was so deep and profound. So here, Deontay, and here, Deontay, motherfucking well. They did this to me. So you know they got to draw out the trilogy. So when it's all said and done, here's the translation of EJ was weight drained. EJ wasn't himself and Terrence Will Crawford took advantage. Look, they understood that EJ had to be deactivated. So they had to deactivate tactical aggression. They had to deactivate technical punching placement. They had to deactivate body snatching work. They had to deactivate the levying onslaught of the punishment style. So Terrence Buck Crawford, the, the chihuahua, barking behind the damn fence, can be propped up, can be elevated to superstar status, can be elevated to big dog status. So when it's all said and done, Deontay Wilder speaking a fundamental truth. He's speaking a elemental truth. He's speaking a rudimental truth. And the truth hurts, but the truth will set you free. And those whom the truth set free are free indeed. So the captives must be set free. And what is the captives? The captive is your spirit is telling you something is wrong with the fight. And if your spirit is telling you something is wrong with the fight, then guess what? Something is wrong with the fight. Deontay Wilder is not telling you something because Deontay Wilder understands how to speak in the boxing coded language. When he said EJ was weight drained, EJ wasn't himself. Terrence Buck Crawford took advantage. Basically, EJ had to be deactivated. EJ couldn't showcase durability for this fight. 
because they wanted to propagate and elevate Terrence Buck Crawford. That's what they did in my fight against Tyson Fury. I knocked this motherfucker out. It took over 10 seconds. It took like damn near 100 seconds for him to get up. It's other things that make you say, hmm. It's other things that make you say, hmm. And then you got guys, you know, in my fight that was telling you there was going to be a three fight deal, even though the first fight didn't even start. This smells and it reeks of scripted. It smells and it reeks of nonsensical. It smells and it reeks of loaded and padded. It smells and it reeks of performance enhancement drugs, undetectable. It smells and it reeks of boxing being corrupt, boxing being dark, boxing showcasing to you when it's all said and done. We have to make bread. And they made bread off of the sacrifice of Uru the True Spence. When people watch the fight, they could see Uru the True Spence wasn't the same. Uru the True Spence was not the fighter that you know that he is. And when you know that a fighter is not a fighter that you know that he is, and you know deep down in your crevice that that is the case, accept that for what it is. Don't fight against your spirit. Don't listen to nonsensical folks that just want to accept any kind of win. We live in a participation award era. People are accepting any nonsense that is spewed their way. But when Deontay Wilder tells you EJ was weight drained, EJ was not himself, and Terrence Buck Crawford took advantage, they did something to EJ. They deactivated him. They deactivated the big fish. When have you ever seen a prehistoric megalodon shark have a predator? The megalodon shark has no predator. It is the predator. So when it's all said and done, Terrence Buck Crawford was set up to win this fight. He was, after all, a barking chihuahua. Barking chihuahuas have to have their day. You know, there's a terminology that says every dog must have its day. So guess what? The dog had to have its day. And people are actually believing that this is a real fight. You know what we call these people? Simpletons. You know what we call these people? Brain full of mush and brainwashed dodo heads. You know what we call these people? Neurally linguistic programmed individuals. You know what we call these people? People that can be easily influenced. You know what we call these people? We call these people, people that are lacking all neuron receptors. They miss this at the early onset of childhood behavior. So you can't expect them to affect effectively and critically think reasonably. That's the cold hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. So newsflash, breaking news. A boxer at the highest levels, Deontay Wilder, who was also in a trilogy of nonsense of bullshit and fuck shit, told you EJ was weight drained. EJ wasn't the same. And Terrence Buck Crawford took advantage. So do you really think this was a credible win? See, this speaks to an addiction king strikes again. An addiction king strikes again. What did he knows everything say? This was a non-credible win. So Terrence Buck Crawford, if you want to accept the non-credible win, if Omaha, Nebraska is all about accepting any win that's presented in front of them so that they could say they won, it's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. But in its most cold-hearted, unadulterated, and cutthroat truth teller fashion, Deontay Wilder let the cat out the bag. That's the cold-hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. I keep the foot on the what on the leaks. I keep the foot on the what on the leaks. P.S. When Deontay Wilder tells you EJ was weight drained, EJ was not himself. Terrence Bell Crawford took advantage. Translation. They did something to Earl or Chew Spence. They deactivated his durability. And Terrence Bell Crawford was able to walk away with loaded and padded gloves, performance enhancement drugs, and he took advantage of Earl or Chew Spence. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.